Hi friends, in this session we are going to derive the equation for natural frequency for a single spring mass system by using the Newton's method. So we will use the Newton's method to determine the natural frequency of the system and for that we will have to consider one simple spring mass system. So consider one spring mass system. Now in this method why it is called the Newton's method because we use the inertia force which is acting on this body and that inertia force we determine by using the Newton's method. So it is called Newton's method or simply you can call a single degree of freedom system derivation. Okay. Now in this spring mass system suppose because of the self weight because of the self weight the spring gets elongated because of its weight then suppose this is the elongation because of the self weight okay so here i'll mention elongation due to self weight now after this elongation suppose if i apply the load on this system then after the application of load this system is going to again elongate so suppose this is the final position of this system okay and the elongation of this system will be x because of the externally applied force so here the displacement is because of the externally applied force so initially here you can see we have only one spring mass system and because of the self weight there is elongation delta and after that i have applied the external force and because of that the displacement of this spring is x so the total displacement if i consider for this spring mass system then this total displacement will be what will be the displacement this delta due to self weight and this x due to externally applied force so the total displacement will be x plus delta so we have the three different figures which are showing the deflection of spring because of self weight and externally applied force now i'll draw the fbd that is free body diagram where i am going to show the forces on each mass okay so to show this fbd consider the second figure where the displacement is x so i'll mention i'll, I'll name this figure as a and this figure as b okay so from a figure we'll have to draw fbd so we have one mass on that mass because of the self weight means weight will be acting downward weight is nothing but mg so because of this weight there is elongation in the spring and this spring will apply the opposing force into this mass so when this body is going to deform in downward direction the spring is going to apply the opposing force in upward direction and spring force is nothing but f is equal to k into x x is nothing but the displacement but here the displacement is delta so i'll write f is equal to k into delta so this will be the spring force acting this is for a figure so this is the fbd for a figure now we'll draw fbd for b figure so consider this b figure in this b figure we have one mass so consider this mass m then we have applied one external force so this is the external force external force is nothing but f is equal to ma because we are using the newton's method so we will have to consider f is equal to ma and a means it is the double differentiation of x so this one i'll write here in the corner this is for your uh, remembering purpose normally in any vibrational system we represent x that is the displacement of the system okay then next 
if I differentiate x with respect to time dx by dt, we represent this as x dot. Means in our normal language, it is velocity. dx by dt is nothing but the velocity. So this is the velocity. So in uh, vibration, normally we represent velocity by x dot. That is the first differentiation of x with respect to time. Suppose if I differentiate this x one more time, that is the x double dot, means we normally we call it as d2x by dt square, that is the second differentiation of x with respect to time. So x double dot is nothing but the acceleration. Okay, So this is the acceleration of the body. So this acceleration I have represented by x double dot. So here again you can see on this mass there is one force and this force is nothing but f is equal to ma and a is nothing but x double dot. So this is the mx double dot is nothing but the force applied on this body. Now the self weight of this system is acting downward. So weight, weight is nothing but mg is acting in downward direction and there is spring to oppose this motion. So the spring will be opposing this motion and the spring force is nothing but f is equal to k into x. But here x is nothing but x plus delta that is the total deflection. So f is equal to k into x plus delta. Okay. So this is the f bd by using the figure b and by using the figure a. Now we will start with our derivation. So consider equilibrium condition. Consider equilibrium condition. So for this equilibrium condition from figure A, from figure A or we can say from FBDA, from FBDA. Now from FBDA what we can write? this mg must be equal to k delta because we have only two forces acting on this mass. So mg is nothing but equal to k delta. So this is the equation number one. So mg will be equal to k delta. Now from figure two we can write, we can write, so same but to write this one I am going to use one term. So here first I will write from FBD B. Okay, now from FBD B. Now just think that the forces which are acting on this mass, there are two types of forces. One is the externally applied force and the second is the forces generated by body itself. So the forces which are generated by body itself are of because of the mass and because of the spring. Because of the mass it is weight and because of the spring it is spring force. So this k x plus delta and weight that is equal to mg these two forces are generated by body itself. So we call these forces as restoring forces. Restoring forces is nothing but the forces which are generated by body itself. So these two forces are restoring forces. So I will combine these two forces. Okay. So kx plus delta uh, you can consider any direction as positive but the displacement is in downward direction. Here you can see displacement in downward direction. So I will consider the downward direction as positive. You can select any notation. Normally we select upward direction as positive but here I am going to select this downward force as positive. So when I select downward force as positive means ultimately upward force will be negative. So uh, mg which is in the direction of displacement so it is positive minus k x plus delta. See here I have considered only forces only forces which are because of the body itself. So the first and second these are the forces which are generated by body. So these are the forces which are generated by body. So here I have written the body forces. So that forces will contribute into the restoring force. Now simplify this one. So mg 
uh, multiply by k uh, in this bracket so k into x minus k into delta but from equation 1 what we can say mg is equal to k delta so here you can see mg and k delta and plus minus means this mg and k delta will be cancelled and restoring force will be minus k into x okay mention this equation as a b or c here i'll mention this equation as 2 okay so this is the equation number 2 that is the restoring force now the forces are of body are restoring forces and the force which is applied externally which will cause the deflection that force we call as accelerating force so accelerating force is the force which is applied from outside and here the accelerating force is f so f is equal to ma that is the mx double down so this will be the equation number three. okay now we have taken these two forces in one equation and this force in one equation now for equilibrium condition for equilibrium condition the body forces that is the restoring force must be equal to accelerating force so for equilibrium i will write restoring force must be equal to accelerating force for equilibrium because we have considered all the forces now restoring force is nothing but minus kx and accelerating force is mx double dot now transfer this minus kx here so the equation will become mx double dot plus kx is equal to 0 now I will convert this equation into the standard form of SHM. So, I am going to divide by M2 throughout the equation. So, I will write X double dot after division M will get cancelled plus K by M into X here I have divided by M is equal to 0. So, this equation will be transferred to this form and this equation is called differential equation of vibration differential equation of vibration now this differential equation of vibration will have to compare with a differential equation of shm why we will have to compare this equation with a differential equation of shm because we consider the vibration is because of the uh, sorry vibration is with the shm motion so we will have to compare this equation with differential equation of SHM. Equation of SHM. Okay. So here I will write the differential equation of SHM that we have seen in earlier lecture. That differential equation of SHM is nothing but x double dot plus omega square x is equal to 0. Now compare our differential equation and differential equation of SHM. So here you can see x double dot, x double dot. Here we have x, here we have x. Here we have 0, here we have 0. So ultimately omega square will be equal to k by m. So after the comparison, omega square will be equal to k by m. So omega take the root on both sides. So natural frequency circular frequency will be under root k by m okay so this is the answer for the circular natural frequency now someone asked to find out the time period then the time period of any system that we can write that our time period is nothing but 2 pi by omega so 2 pi by under root k by m means 2 pi root m by k so this is nothing but the time period of the given system and if you want to convert this time period into the frequency then the frequency means natural frequency is given by 1 divided by time period 
so it will be 1 divided by time period is 2 pi root m by k so transfer this k on upward side so 1 divided by 2 pi root k by m so this is the natural frequency of the system and we have determined we have determined the natural frequency so i will revise one more time just uh, in the equation they have given that solve this by using the newton's method so in the newton's method i have considered one uh, spring mass system here you can see then due to the self weight the deflection is delta and due to the applied force the deflection is x so total deflection is x plus delta then draw the fbd draw the fbd for the self weight deflection and because of the external force so in the fbd weight is acting downward and spring force will be f is equal to k into displacement so k into displacement here external force weight and the spring force okay so by considering the first fbd we have written the equation for equilibrium condition and in second we have written the equation for restoring forces and accelerating forces accelerating force is nothing but the external force that is f and restoring forces are the body forces which are generated within the body so weight and the spring force these are the two body forces so for equilibrium these two forces must be equal so restoring force is nothing but the accelerating force from that we will get the differential equation and compare this differential equation with SHM we will get the value of omega n when we get the omega n ultimately we will get the fn that is the 1 divided by 2 pi omega n so root k by n ok so here we have finished with the Newton's method now this method will require for the derivation where in that derivation uh, for the torsional system we are going to get the help from this equation so keep remember this equation or derivation for the derivation of torsional system thank you